Welcome to today's vlog from Salem, Massachusetts. We just got in here this morning. You guys, it's been like a dream of mine to come to Salem since I was like a little kid around Halloween time. Yes. And we're here. We're here, we're making it happen. If you ever watched Hocus Pocus, you were like, where was that movie filmed? Well, there's a bunch of filming locations here, which we will be visiting today. So we will show you all those. So much history in and this city. Oh. We just drove by a statue, which is gonna make Ashley super happy. They have a statue of Elizabeth uh, Montgomery. Montgomery from Bewitched. Bewitched. My favorite, my idol. Right in the middle of town. So I go, wanted to be her. There's a car coming. <laughs> you can go take your picture um, in front of the statue with her. So I literally I knew that to was going to make you happy as soon as still I saw it. I still want that. to be her. She's perfect. It's like one of our favorite shows. We still watch it now. Bewitched. She watched it as a kid. I watched it with my mom as a kid. Mm -hmm. Nick at night. It's just Bewitched. like one of those Nick shows. Nick so. not the same as it was when we were no, kids. No, no. It was so much better when we were kids. But anyways, we are here in Salem. We are gonna go explore and you guys are coming with us. Let's do this. We've come upon our first place. We're gonna have lunch at. It's the Howling Wolf Taquera. A little bit of Mexican. So we're gonna check this place out. It looks pretty good. We've got reservations for dinner tonight. So that's all covered. So after this, we got a whole lot of touring that we will be doing. Very excited. All right, Lane got the kids nachos. <laughs> and yeah, they did a good job there. We've got some enchiladas. We've got a chimichanga. We've got a shrimp taco. I don't even know what's going on here, but it looks delicious. And some al pastor quesadilla. So. So far, thumbs up. Everybody thumbs up, it's good. Good Mexican in Boston, okay? So Not far, Boston. We're... Salem. Good Mexican in Salem, excuse me. Thanks for correcting me. We're not in Boston yet. All right guys, just finished up at the Wolf, Howling Wolf, super yummy. Guy was super helpful too, because we were like, what should we do, what's going on? And he like just listed off like all these cool things to do. So we're actually heading down to the wharf right now with the captain and it's gonna be awesome. So we are ready to rock and roll. Um, there's a lot of shopping down here, a lot of cool things to see. So we're gonna check that out first and then we're gonna do all the witchy stuff. So witch museum, um, they got the witch house here. They've got some cool tours that we're gonna be going on. And then of course we gotta get pictures by all the Hocus Pocus houses, right? I mean, we're here. The girls are gonna love that because they're so into Hocus Pocus right now. It's Halloween, we've watched it like three times. And so I can't wait to show them the pictures. So apparently they're really into witches in this town. Like, like really into witches. <laughs> it's kind of cool though. It's Did a really you just cool place. say they're really into witches in Salem? <laughs> Hello, are you new here? Oh my gosh, this is cool. I think they got all these statues that looks like they're getting ready to put out. <clears throat> Crazy. Okay, we're entering a cemetery. How does it make you feel right now? In well, Salem, Massachusetts. You know, I, I hate cemeteries. I hate it. But this is cool when it's like really old and like historical. I like that. That's awesome. It's I'm excited. Cool. All right, here we go.
All right, so we just came out of there. This is actually called the Old Burying Point. Um, and it's right here in Salem. And it, the, the tour guide just told me it's actually the second oldest burial ground in the country. The first is in Boston. Um, so that is kind of cool. And that is why you see so many people here. It is insane. Um, it's not a final resting place because those say, guys, they're not getting any this rest. This is not a very peaceful <laughs> resting place. There's that. people like, look at this did, did you hear him say this is the second oldest yes. burial ground in the it's country? Crazy. The, the, we found 16... He said 1615. No, 1637. 1637, sorry, thank you, Sam. 1637. 1637. Wow. That's, that's, that's insane, beautiful. you guys. That was really cool, though, to see that. Like, I've never seen anything that old. And you can tell the markers in the ground, the tombstones, they're just, like, weather-worn. Some of them you can't even read. It was really cool. All right, so I'm actually in the Charter Street Cemetery. That's another name for the cemetery. Um, this is the Welcome House. And so they've got a lot of plaques and pictures and information on the wall. By the way, my head's about ready to hit the ceiling and I'm not very tall, I'm only 5'10". So these are small, small houses. This is crazy. And this looks like it was built back in the day. I'm gonna find a, a timestamp on this house right now, but it, it kind of looks, it's this one. Oh, here it is. What? This house was built in 1672. Oh my gosh, this house I'm standing in was built in 1672. Guys, is that insane? Yes. That's it's over 300 years old. Look at the roof wow. ceiling. All right, Ashley just has been nice. researching and finding out There's information. There's a reason I always wanted to be Elizabeth Montgomery, because I am. So Ashley's sister does a ton of genealogy work, She's history, like, all that totally kind of stuff. totally into genealogy work. And when we were over by that cemetery, there was a plaque and I started reading them. And at that time, my mom started texting me a name of one of my ancestors who was accused of being a witch. Like, right here in Salem. Right here in Salem. And then Whitney, my sister, texted me two other names, and they were all sisters, and they were all on that plaque right outside the cemetery. It was kind of creepy. Of their names, and I was like, "What just happened?" It was kind of creepy. One of them, they know where is buried. The other two have disappeared, and they don't know where never their bodies are. Never found them. Never found That is crazy. Them. Ashley has ties directly right nice. here to Salem. It's crazy. And then I walk into this little store, and they have this. They have this. I'm not gonna undo it, but it's like this all of the witches are on it three of the names were on this and i'm like i have to buy this so i bought it for whitney to scan into our genealogy because that's pretty freaking crazy so sad like so it is sad. sad yeah but it's just like crazy to like have a tie that like my ancestors names are like on the plaques around Salem. right here right in the cemetery it's right crazy. in the buildings and that old building we were just in is it it's was insane blowing my mind she is she's literally boggled right and then now. whitney just sent me all the genealogists and i'm reading all their stories <laughs> Guys, we just finished up in here in the Salem Witch Museum. Very interesting. Gave us a lot of um, facts about what went on back then, like way back in the day, and how the Salem uh, witch hunt and trials and everything started, how they went, how they ended. It was kind of cool, interesting little piece of history to sit and listen to. Um, there was a lot of extra stuff in there, some folklore, some whatever you want to call it, but. It was very interesting. I definitely recommend it. Ashley really liked it. I loved it. I thought it was very highly educational, very open-minded. I appreciate very, it. Very open-minded. And I choose to believe that Elizabeth Montgomery is the kind of witch that I would be. <laughs> A good witch. <laughs> so if you believe in witches... <laughs> I don't, but which, it'd be really cool. <laughs> Which some people do. But I would be a good one. <laughs> it was fun. It was a fun thing to do, though. It was really fun. Very interesting. Uh, 
What did you find? I found Michael. Oh my god! It says he does something, but I can't figure out how what to make do? him do anything. What does it say? He hugged me, but I'm hugging him and he's not doing anything. Just like sing the song to you? This is cool. Halloween oh, store deluxe. Look at all this stuff. Collectibles. Oh! The Michael Myers mask. That's Halloween 5. I can see that right now. H2O. Okay. Okay. The store's got some stuff. This is old school. Look at this. They've got like all the Friday the 13th. Halloween! Oh, babe, what do we got here? We got something we're not what, buying. What is all that stuff? No. What, what is no. that? No. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so this is called the Witch Mall? Is it yeah, the Witch this Mall? This is the Witch Mall. So, so like everything in here is witch related. Like every they store. A, they have a place where you can dress up like witches. You dress and up and get your pictures. pictures. They have like little collectibles like this, like there's food in here and stuff too, but it's like the whole store is like Halloween themed. It's kind of cool, like really cool. All right guys, so we're heading into this haunted monster tour kind of thing. And they said I could film, which is cool. So you guys are coming with us. Let's check it out. Oh my gosh! That was so freaky! All right, what just happened? What just happened? I went around the corner so that when Tyson came around, I could scare him. And then all this stuff started like shooting out of the walls at me and scared the crap out of me. All right, here we are. I'm caught up. I'm caught up. Right here. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Okay, children, fast forward about one minute, two yeah. minutes in this video. Here's Grandma. Banshee. This is the Banshee. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go first. Those are creepy. Oh, oh I heard of this guy. This guy was like a man. What was his name? Slender Man. Slender Man. All right, that was kind of fun. We got a little Halloween action there. That Ash, was scary. Ash got some screams out. Scared me a lot. Ooh, more haunted houses. Holy cow, they're all over the place. Man, this town gets up for oh, Halloween, let this me tell you. Is, like, just look at it. Yeah, this is, this street's gonna be lit up tonight. This is cool. They are all about the Halloween here, though. Pretty much everywhere you go. All right, guys, so we are heading now to um, Danny and Max's house from Hocus Pocus. So if you guys watch the movie, which we have a hundred times, we're gonna go see their iconic house. You guys will probably recognize it when we get there. We'll take some pictures and I'll give you guys a little glimpse around. And then we're gonna find, we're gonna go to the Robus Mansion, which was Allison's house in the movie. And then uh, we'll hit up City Hall where they did the big Halloween bash where Bette Midler sung, I'll, I put a spell on you. So a lot of fun, cool, 
history from the movie all right here in Salem. So we're gonna check it all out starting right now. All right, guys, we are here. We got to where Danny and Max's house is right there. So that is from the movie Hocus Pocus. There's where the witches come in up top, that third level up there. Kind of cool to actually be standing here. What do you think, babe? Do you remember this house from the movie now that you're seeing it? There's the people who own it, the cute little old people cute, just sitting on the porch. Cute little old couple just sitting on the porch. So what part on the, the witches come into this house in the movie? The witches, like, don't they like fly around the top thing up there? Yeah. And then and they take Danny out the top. Oh, okay, now I remember. That's kind of cool though. We're gonna take a few pictures while we're right here. And then there is a beautiful, beautiful view of the ocean right here. Boom, 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 look at that. So we're gonna get some pictures of that too. So in love with Salem. So much beauty here, fun things to do, fun things to see. Um, after seeing um, Max and Danny's house from Hocus Pocus, we were really close to where our bed and breakfast was. So we decided to come over here and check in. You guys have to see this, it is so cute. Look at this. Ah, look how pretty that is. So this is our bed and breakfast and we will be staying here tonight. Um, before we head on to our next destination, but it is so cute. I've already been in. I went upstairs and saw our room. We are all the way up on the third floor, um, which is kind of cool. So we got that, um, but uh, super excited to be here. We're not sp spending very much time here. We're kind of dumping bags, and then um, we're heading right back down into Salem because we have other things that we want to do, dinner reservations, and then we also have a tour that we're going on tonight. It's a haunted tour or a... a a walking tour, a witch tour, something, I can't remember, something like a ghost tour. I don't know, Ashley booked it, but we're doing it. It doesn't start until after dark. So we'll be down there kind of late. So when we get back here, it'll be late, but super cute place, really fun. I'll show you guys inside when I walk back up. Ashley's up there doing a live feed right now on her Instagram. So I came down here, so I didn't bug her. we just got up here to our room and it is so adorable look i have like an actual key like to the house and to the room like and and last night our bed and breakfast did not offer breakfast this one does offer breakfast it's like a true legit legit b and b so i'm kind of excited but let's show you guys the room okay when you enter there is a waving man waving at you welcome welcome <laughs> to the b and b do you come with all the rooms <laughs> Just this one. Just this one. You lucked out. If you're in room 14, you get this guy. You get me. <laughs> 14's my lucky number. It is, and we're on the third floor. We're on the top floor, guys. Okay, I'm gonna do 0.5 to zoom out and show you guys the whole room. Boom. Boom. There you go. Little dining, sitting area. You got there. a little living room area. Okay, we're gonna zoom back in. We're gonna go down this little hall. We've got like a little, little kitchenette. This is just a closet that had uh, some robes and a uh, ironing board, which I will not be using. And then bedroom. So cute. It's so cute. Only downfall, they do not have a TV in here. I like to fall asleep to the TV. Going. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's true. okay. That's It'll be fine. Thing. I'm fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. How do we turn this on? Top one. Okay. Here is our bathroom. So cute, love it. This is adorable. Good job booking this one, babe. Thank you. Okay, now go get my suitcase. I'm not bringing your suitcase up here. It weighs 100 pounds. It's not going up three flights and back down three flights. Guys, Sorry. what am I supposed to do? Grab what you need out of the car. <laughs> Ashley just summoned me in here. What's Turn up? Turn the light on. Okay, I think it's this one. Currently washing my hands because I just used the restroom. Okay. But look how cute. Mason jars for our like sink uh -huh. cups. <laughs> that is cute. <laughs> of course, you would see that and point that out. <laughs> I think it's adorable. It's adorable.
All right, guys, we're checking out one more um, cemetery here. This is a cemetery here. This is Old Burial Hill. It's also one of the oldest cemeteries in the country. Um, and it's also from the movie Hocus Pocus. They've got the scene where he's riding through on his bike, Max, and then um, the, the goons take his shoes and steal his shoes. So that's all filmed right here. Um, but I'm gonna go up here into it because it sits up on a hill and I'm film filming around. You can see the houses and everything. It's supposed to be a really beautiful pic. cemetery here it's actually a beautiful view see all the boats parked out there in the marina it's crazy how these old cemeteries are set up I, there's not really a rhyme or reason there's just plots everywhere headstones rocks whatever you call them they're just kind of random and everywhere there's big ones there's small ones there's tiny ones there's labeled ones there's unknown there's very extravagant ones and then there's literally just a rock in the ground and another thing Ashley notices they're so close together she's like how do you how would you fit all the bodies in the ground right here they're so close and I didn't have an answer I don't know I'm guessing some of these were babies, some of these were young children, some of these were families, they're all grouped together. I have no idea. But it's just kind of crazy to see old cemeteries like this and you don't really know <laughs> what their what their reasoning was when they set them up or if they even had a plan. Kind of crazy. the Jonathan Corwin house which is also known as the witch house here in Salem now Jonathan Corwin he was a judge who was um, uh, here during the, the Salem witch trials and he was actually um, one of the ones who did all the arrest warrants for all the witches so he signed all those this is where he lived and that is why it has become popular and known as the witch house so um, kind of crazy but if you look up Salem this house will pop up on a lot of the tourist attractions you'll see it at night. I think they light up the windows they're all orange and stuff so it's kind of cool but there it is right there they've got like a little placard or marker right there in the yard and another witch exhibit to see here in Salem and Ashley is just soaking it up look at her we're all done here but she's still over here taking pictures for everybody like look at her She's loving this. I don't think we're going to get her to leave Salem. All right, and just up the street from the witch house is the Robes Mansion. So a lot of you will recognize this from Hocus Pocus. This was um, Allison's house where they threw the party and they go over to hang out and see what's going on. So you'll recognize that. I'll get a shot out front as well. Kind of cool, a lot of people over here just looking, taking pictures, more coming up. A lot to see here, especially if you like witches and hocus pocus. All right, so we just found one of the things Ashley has been looking forward to, and it is the statue of Elizabeth Montgomery from Bewitched. Ashley's in love. I love her so much. This is one I of her favorite her shows. Too. I love everything about it. She still it. watches it. Like, I do. We have it on our TV. I watch it at night before I go to bed. But she tonight. watched it as a kid. I watched it as a kid with my mom, so this is kind of cool. So we're going to get a picture so cool. right here. Elizabeth She's so classy. Montgomery. Isn't she just so classy? Definitely. All 
right, guys, it is now time for dinner. We picked a seafood restaurant. It is called Turner's. It's supposed to be really good. Let's go see. Guys, it is true, seafood on the East Coast is good. It is obviously much better than I mean, Utah. I mean, the lobster and the crab out of the Utah Ocean is really okay, <laughs> but. Oh my gosh, so far we got. The sea, it's my exactly. I mean, it's out of the Salt Lake, right? I hope, I hope not. I hope no one's eating it. <laughs> Listen, we, <laughs> we got the calamari tonight, which was excellent. We're all having uh, clam chowder. Ashley did the lobster bisque. Lobster bisque. So good. Clam chowder is really good out here, but I, this lobster bisque she got tonight, wow, really good. And then Sam, oh, they haven't brought, they haven't brought her chicken nuggets out yet, so she's still waiting on those. <laughs> she doctored it up a lot. She got chicken piccata. Oh, that's actually really good. Yeah. She went away from the fried chicken and she got a, a grilled chicken pasta dish. So she's growing. She's growing, people. All right, guys, dinner 50-50, 50-50. Ash? I think it was 25-75. Ash did not like this place. Her her crab cakes, she barely took a bite of them. They had a little too much Dijon mustard in them. I think it was a ball of Dijon mustard with a little bit of crab sprinkled on top. My fish was good, so I can't complain about that. My fish was good. Sam got the chicken piccata. No? No good, okay. Lane? I love the clam chowder. I thought it was really good. And then the bread that came with it was really, really good. But then I got a salad and it was just not good. Just okay. So, looks like uh, one out of four enjoyed their meal. Luckily it was me, but the rest of the guys, dang it. This has been really our first bust on this trip though. Like, first one. Yeah, everywhere else has been great. So, Turners, I'm sorry, I can't give you a 100% love thumbs up. All right, you guys, look at this cool little area that we're in. It's called Derby Square. Derby Square. And we are headed out on a tour. So walking tour of the city. They're gonna tell us all sorts of history and story spooky. Guys, we're just finishing up our tour, walking down the streets of Salem in the dark. Had a bunch of people here with us. Um, it's kind of like a history tour, but it tells a lot of other things as well. It's kind of, it's really interesting. So kind of glad we did it. Ashley's totally into it. I think Lane and Sam are ready to go home, but we're gonna finish it up. So kind of creepy though that we're just walking down the middle of the street in the dead of night. Eesh. A little bit out of the gardener vlog scene. <laughs> All right, guys, we uh, just finished the walking tour. Ashley loved it. I Lane loved and it. Sam hey, hated hold, hold it. No, 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 no. They were no, they were done no. after like two minutes. They were like, uh, I'm out. Guys, this is actually, too much. This is too much. Actually, not a tour or a, a recap of the tour. This is fourth meal introduction. Oh, sorry. We have decided to we're, go to Wendy's. <laughs> we're in the Wendy's drive-through. <laughs> Getting a frosty and maybe a cheeseburger. I don't know. Because that's what you do at 1130 at night in Salem because that's and, all the And open. there will be pictures and there will be video of every item we bought. Hey, Sam, what did you get? Shut up! Did you get some chicken? I think Sam got some chicken. Do you have any other way to doctor up this chicken? Pretty soon, Sam's going to turn into a chicken. Anyways, we love you guys. That's it for Salem from tonight. We had so much fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It's late. We're going to eat our chicken and go to bed. sick from Wendy's. Probably. We will hopefully see you in the morning in Boston. Yeah, we're going to sleep in. But tomorrow is Boston. So if you guys want to see Boston, we're heading down there. Do some fun stuff. Yes. See you tomorrow, guys. That's what you're